Hell yeah, what's going on people? My name's Jack. Welcome back to my channel. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. Today, we're talking about how I edit my YouTube videos, my personal workflow. Uh, pretty much, I'm going to break down, bullet point off the main ways I structure my videos, how I make them, uh, you know, how I make them pretty interesting, how I make the, how I keep the viewer's attention, and uh, then we'll jump over to Premiere, and I'll actually just break down uh, two days ago YouTube video, the timeline of it, and just show you a visual representation of how I do it. Now, real quick, very simple structure of how I uh, grab the uh, viewer's attention right away. I have a animated intro. You would have already seen it, right, for this video, the, the one that just popped up about how to edit my YouTube videos, and that's a theme. Every single video, I introduce myself, explain what my channel is real quick in case there's any new viewers like I did with the my video editing thing, and then boom, I hit you in the face with a cool animated 3D intro that's relevant to the video, and what that does is it pretty much just inspires confidence in the viewer that the rest of the video is going to be high quality as well. Now, that's kind of subconscious or whatever, but if you see some cool stuff happening right away, you're going to stick around a little bit longer, whereas you are very much so as a YouTuber, sort of in this game of you have to get their attention, then you got to keep their attention throughout the course of the video. So try and make a big first impression when you start that video off. Um, it does, you know, you don't have to be yelling or anything like that, but just try basically instill confidence in the viewer that the rest of the video is going to be good, whether that be telling them what's going to come or whatever. All right, so smash them in the face with that with, with that cool introduction, right? And then I pretty much proceed to just talk about my topic and edit visual representation on with the use of some transitions. So, you know, basically, you know, I've got these little glitch transitions or whatever. Anytime I'm talking about, oh, yeah, guys, back in the day, I used to film clubs. Yeah, I was a full time club videographer. I was in the club every single weekend filming. You know, I would have used some sort of 3D um, cool glitch transitions or something to bring on my visual representation. And that's the third thing that pretty much structures my videos is visual representation. Anything you guys are talking about, you got to provide some visual representation. This is going to keep people tuning in. The great thing about this is I've just worked three plus years in the freelance game. So I got so much content to essentially edit on the screen whenever I'm talking about anything. Now, I do this in two different ways. I have old thumbnails, a whole folder of old thumbnails, basically, right? And I can pre basically go into this this folder and just type in, for example, YouTube, boom, I can get an old thumbnail and just animate that in and out. And I'll show you how I do the animation thing in a minute. Or I go into my, my footage drive and I just find some, you know, old club footage of me filming a club or something like that. And I edit that onto the screen. And pretty much that enables me to have a visual representation to everything I'm saying. Or if I'm basically sat here and I'm like, oh yeah, guys, I made 25,000 a year when I was 18 years old editing videos, which was literally two days ago video. I'll put the text on the screen that sort of just starts, you know, some sort of annotation. Again, some sort of visual representation to what I'm saying. Definitely, the more stuff you can have uh, that's just relevant to what you're talking about, people aren't gonna gonna lose uh, attention, and basically, it's gonna work out. So, basically, Envato Elements is something that's pretty crucial. I use Envato Elements for the animated intros. I use it for the glitch transitions, all the kind of crazy. 3D or crazy like next level stuff. If you ever look at it and you're like, wow, Jack really spent some time on this video. I didn't, you know, I just got the stuff off Envato. Now it can take a while to, to edit that stuff and to render it, but I definitely am not building that stuff from scratch. I'm not going to take any unnecessary credit. So boring stuff, catchy music, outro stuff like that. We can get to that in a minute. Let me just jump over to Premiere and show you guys my actual editing workflow, my actual timeline. And uh, then we can talk about some boring stuff, which kind of you know, the boring stuff matters as well, right? But we'll talk about that next. Let's jump to Premiere. All right, wonderful, guys. So this right here is my video from two days ago. Uh, the thumbnail is right above if you guys want to go check it out and see what the actual full version looked like. But basically, let's go ahead and break it down. Now, I'm actually just going to go ahead and mute the, uh, the audio layers because I don't want to hear them right now and I don't have any headphones on, all right? But let's actually just go ahead and play and I'll break this down step by step um, as, as we see some stuff. So as you see right there, it starts off with some sort of cool... Uh, uh, you know glitch type of transition type of thing and then we get to that 3d intro Which is what I said to start off with now This is a theme every single video we get that 3d intro right there and you can see these are transitions right here So I'm blending the visual representation in with transitions and you'll see that I have maybe a smaller subtle transition that gets edited on when I am uh, You know trying to put some text some text annotation or whatever so basically 
visual representation to everything that you're talking about literally everything that you're doing and as we continue on just more visual visual representation as you see that right there is an old thumbnail like i said i literally have old thumbnails that when i'm talking about something if i don't have a relevant clip i'll just put a thumbnail on the screen right so for example look at all these Th these are my old thumbnail folders so if i want to go up here to search right and i type in for example um uh, videography right videography and just put press search I've got loads of thumbnails that have already been done by me that are me holding a camera or, you know, some me, you know, holding a camera in the club or whatever. And these are perfect for me to just animate in and out. And what I'll do is I'll drag one of those in, right? And I'll literally just do a keyframe animation in 120 animated out to 100 and basically put a transition at the start and the end of that. And it creates a nice little visual representation of a thumbnail on the screen. So I'll actually use still images sometimes and just animate them. Um, and basically that's a great way to do it as well or alternatively I have uh, you know this where again I could go up here I could type in you know YouTube whatever because I've made 600 videos I have so many thumbnails that I can just use as visual representation or if I need a video clip I can go over to my computer go to my record drive my footage drive I got all this stuff here I got you know behind the scenes of me in in clubs filming etc right all this type of stuff that is literally so much it's got to work on processing it and that's just one of my record drives right i got loads of other stuff i could go to my computer i have one literally called record drive that's 931 gigabytes that's damn near full i got finished projects right i could drag some stuff like this in i've got footage drive with again old sort of stuff on top of this right and, and look like we could see uh win this shoot behind the scenes all right there's pictures of me at a shoot behind the scenes wonderful we could go get some of those put it in here's a uh, videos of me boom that's a video of me in the office talking with clients right so this is golden content for me because it's visual representation of what i'm doing essentially so that is the structure of of the jack cole youtube channel uh banger intro nice visual representation throughout and then just sort of you know do a couple cool flashy things with the thumb uh with, with, with the transitions or whatever just to sort of add a higher quality feel to the video and then on top of that the more boring stuff just real catchy music right like if you have a nice catchy background track um and my always my strategy for music is i slam it in nice and loud first and then it just fades out basically so right so you get hit in the face with this big loud like boom what's up people my name is jet welcome back to another video music is much louder in the start of my videos and then after about 20 seconds it's faded out and, uh, you know, then it just plays like a little role as background music throughout the course of the video. But overall, slam them, punch them in the face, get their attention right off the bat. And then you can actually just, once you've sort of established confidence that this is a good video, which is always the first like minute, you just have to hit them left, right, center, and just get them be like, okay, cool, this is going to be a good video. And then you got a little bit more leeway to maybe have maybe a slightly longer part or maybe a more you know, spend a bit more time talking about something without visual representation, they're invested at that point. But overall, you definitely have to grab their attention right off the bat and uh, and sort of make sure you fill them with confidence that this video is going to provide some value and it's worth sticking around. Also, at the end, my strategy for the, uh, the end screen is I just put my previous thumbnail blurred out right at the end with some nice loud music for 20 seconds. And then I actually just put the end screen linking to that very video. So it, it, it makes a cool effect where it looks like the thumbnail is clickable, but then the same thumbnail is behind it um, blurred out. And uh, it just looks kind of cool. So at the end of the day, very simple strategy there. And overall, that right there is my basic YouTube video editing workflow. I mean, like, I don't really know what else to talk about here. I think animated intro hit him in the face. Nice sort of smooth transitions. Nice just quality content and visual representation to everything you're talking about, everything you're saying. Um, of course, I'm exploring this from the uh, the sort of tutorial commentary info side so maybe if you're doing gaming videos your workflow be quite different right at the end of the day i'm exploring it from my workflow that's why it's in the title my workflow and uh this has been how to edit my youtube videos how i personally edit my youtube videos on a day-to-day -day basis peace out guys check out creator dashboard we're dropping some big stuff within the next two weeks and um i want you guys to be part of it which i'll post it on this youtube channel as well so you'll be part of it regardless whether you like to or not you're part of the team thank you guys for tuning in have a nice day Take it easy. Have an enjoyable Sunday and an even better Monday. Take it easy.